How to calculate your macros for lean bulking as a skinny fat guy or girl. I struggled with this as a skinny fat guy years ago, managed to apply this blueprint to myself. I'll show you some photos of how I went from being skinny fat to being completely shredded just by using this blueprint I'm gonna share with you after the intro. Welcome back everybody, let's jump straight into it. So if you're a skinny fat guy or girl wanting to figure out your macros for lean bulking, then this is exactly what I did to myself to get completely shredded and build a ton of muscle. And also I should point out very quickly that I did it completely naturally, no steroids, no testosterone, no performance enhancing drugs, nothing, just a ton of patience and hard work and trusting the process. I also did this when I was doing my night shift job years ago counting my macros and my calories in the middle of the night. And I really did struggle. It was very, very tough. I didn't have any mentors or coaches to help me back then. I will break it down for you and make it as simple as possible for you. So follow along with me. So macros for bulking. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna calculate your target calories for bulking. So that's our first line here. For me, hypothetically, 2750 calories is what I would aim to achieve every single day to build maximum amounts of muscle, okay? So the calculation for calculating your calorie target for bulking is gonna be TDEE times 1.1. So total daily energy expenditure for you, I'll link down below what you can click on to determine your TDEE. Very simple to calculate using my calculator on my website. Go click on that link, then come back to this video. Then you're gonna add 10% on top of that TDEE. So TDEE for me, 2,500 calories, times it by 1.1, because we wanna add 10% extra calories onto that 2,500, that's gonna get me 2,750 calories. So you're gonna figure this out for yourself. Once I've got my target daily calories, then I can break that down into protein, fat, and carb. So for protein, the calculation's simple. 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight per day is what you're aiming for. So 194 pounds, that's my weight. So you're gonna use your weight, for example. 194 pounds times 0.8 is 155 grams of protein, right? So I'm gonna aim for 155 as a minimum every day during my bulk. The second one is fat. All I'm gonna do is get 0.3 grams of fat per pound of body weight per day. I'm gonna multiply that by 194. That's gonna get me 58 grams of fat. 0.3 times 194, or use your own weight, will get me 58 grams of fat. Then I get the rest of my calories for bulking and I give that to my carbohydrates. How do I do that? I need to convert this and this, so the grams of protein and fat, I need to convert that to calories. So for one gram of protein is four calories, so 155 times four is 620 calories. For fat, one gram of fat is nine calories, so 58 times nine is 522 calories. So then all I gotta do is get my target calories for bulking, 2750, subtract 620, subtract 522, that will leave me with a balance of 1,608 calories that I'm gonna to devote to my carbohydrates. To figure out how many grams of carbohydrate that works out to be, one gram of carbohydrates, four calories, so 1,608 divided by four will give me 402 calories. Correction, 402 grams of carbohydrate. So that's essentially my macros for lean bulking. 2,750 is my target calories. 155 for protein, 58 for fat, and 402 for carbohydrate. If this is all too much for you, I'll make it more simple for you. Your target calories is what you're trying to hit every single day, followed by protein. If you can just hit these two numbers every single day, then you're gonna get incredible results. You can just differentiate your fat and carb as you wish. Aim for protein, hit that target, and you can Give the rest of your calories to fat or carb as you see fit. If you want more fat than carb or more carb than fat in your bulking journey, that's completely up to you. For me, I prefer to have more carbohydrates than fat, okay? It doesn't matter how you split carb and fat as long as you're hitting that target. If you're not hitting that target or whatever you've calculated for yourself, you're not gonna gain weight. You wanna gain on average 0.5 
to one pound of weight per week. If you're not gaining that, you're not eating enough. I know this because I was a skinny fat guy. I really struggled to put on weight. Why? Because I wasn't eating enough calories. I thought I was eating enough calories, but I wasn't. You must track this to ensure that you're gaining weight. Now, put these numbers into an app like MyNet Diary or MyFitnessPal, or you can use a, a flexible meal plan and track everything that you eat. If you're hitting your target calories and you're not gaining weight, then you need to add about 100 to 150 calories to your target. When you're gaining more than one pound per week, then you're eating too many calories. You need to dial it back a little bit, drop that by around 100 calories. If you're, eating, if you're gaining less than 0.5 pounds per week, then you're not eating enough calories. You need to increase your target by around 100 calories per day. So that's the general blueprint for how to calculate your macros for lean bulking. And then when you get to the end of your bulk, then you'll do a little cut at the end to trim off any fat that you've gained during this process. This is exactly what I did and how I managed to get into the best shape of my life. Hope this was helpful. See you in the next one. For a step-by-step, all-in-one science-based program that will show you exactly how to eat and train correctly to build muscle, shred fat, and get stronger, head over to bradnewtonfitness.com and check out the Ultimate Body Transformation Program. In this program, you'll go from looking soft, weak, and having skinny arms and a skinny chest to having a lean, muscular, and athletic-looking body. Until next time, guys, see you on the next one.